Sapanku has been out for a week now, and everyone has been scrambling to learn the new meta. We got 24 new Tams, a bunch of new gears, and a change in the way speed and stamina work? After a week of playing and combing through all the new information, many tamers have found a new Tem that really sticks out among the rest. Let's talk about Hedgen. Hedgen is a digital fire tem that is all about speed. Its speed stat itself isn't the highest, but its speed is instead defined by its trait, gotta go fast? Yeah, that's right. One of the best new tems added to the game is Crema's shameless Sanic the Heg Heg reference. Gotta go fast buffs all of Hedgen's techniques that are lower than priority 3 up to priority 3. Every one of Hedgen's moves has to go fast. This trait would have been pretty good last patch, but the speed changes that came along with the Sapanku update make this trait broken. First of all, let's take a second to actually talk about the speed changes in the patch. Whenever a stat is increased or decreased during a battle, it does so in stages. That's what those little arrows mean. Every stage above zero increases the stat by 50%, and every stage below zero decreases the stat by 33%, and changes to speed used to follow this same formula. However, after the update, speed stat changes are less impactful. Stat increases and decreases for speed are only half as effective, increasing by 25% and reducing by 20% or less because of diminishing returns. The difference in speed between a normal priority move and a high priority move is 50%, which before the update was the same as having one stage of increased speed. After the update, the gap has widened. It's still only 50% increased speed, but it's the equivalent of two stages of increased speed. And since all of Hedgen's moves are high priority, no matter how fast you are, you have no hope to outspeed Hedgen with normal priority moves unless you yourself get two stages of increased speed. Here's an example. A max speed Amphiteer versus Hedgen. Amphiteer is the fastest Tem in the game, but even with 500 speed TVs, a normal priority move cannot outspeed a Hedgen if it has a tiny investment of 142 speed TVs. So even the fastest Tem in the game has to use Priority 3 moves to fight a Hedgen. The problem is, Priority 3 moves are generally weaker than other moves. Amphiteer has access to Plague and Voltopuncture, for example, but those are so weak against Hedgen they can't even deal 50% of his HP, no matter how you build your Amphiteer. The only technique that can really threaten a Hedgen is Aquatic Whirlwind. It's high priority, and he's four times weak to water. But out of the six Thames that can learn it, only Oshiera and Ukama have a higher base speed than Hedgen. It also has one hold, so unless you run Hurry Ward Oshiera, you won't have access to it turn one. And we haven't even talked about Hedgen's move pool. Let's take a second to talk about Generify, a new digital technique. It's a zero hold move that applies evasion if your ally is neutral. It's incredibly affordable at 10 stamina, and it also applies Nullified to Hedgen, removing its weaknesses, so it no longer gets one shot by a 4x weakness to water. And as long as it has a neutral ally, it has a spammable 3 priority bamboozle on itself. So if your opponent leads Hedgen and a neutral to synergize with it, you need to wait two turns with your Okama for the Generify to wear off before attacking it, or your Aquatic Whirlwind won't kill. The only other counter on turn one is Deceit or a Nagais, but they don't have access to a zero hold water move, so you'd need to pair it with another water type. So you're telling me, if you have a max speed Hedgen, he's only threatened on turn one by Hurrywart Oshiera and Deceit or a Nagais? You can just ban them! He's almost always going to be a strong opener. The rest of Hedgen's move pool is very good because he takes the stronger normal priority moves and makes them faster. Shoot out stab plasma beams and use Generify whenever you're in danger. Then as soon as it's available you can blow someone up with a high priority fire tornado? That's insane! You can also purge off any negative status effects like Trapped or Doomed with Synergy Generify. The only move that can one-shot you reliably is Aquatic Whirlwind, so just play around the enemy Okama or Oshiera's hold timer and switch out when you need to. So bottom line, I think Hedgen is one of the strongest Temtem release with Sapanku. There are definitely ways to play around it though. Like you could use Drill to kill him through his evasion, or you could use Cage alongside Okama or Oshiera's Aquatic Whirlwind to make sure it can't switch out. 
Or you could just ignore it and try to kill all of its neutral partners so it can't make use of Generify. Just make sure you have a strategy within your team to take down the enemy Hedgen or he is just going to be too fast to keep up with. So yeah, make sure you keep an eye out for Hedgen, because he's moving around at the speed of sound, he's got places to go, and that place is probably like high A tier? I don't know. Thanks for coming to my Tem Talk. If you liked the video, thanks! My name is Blunk, and I'm making Tem Tem videos as we learn the ins and outs of this game. If there's something I said that you disagree with, be sure to let me know, and check the description for any updates as this video is made in early access, so a lot could change by the time the game is fully released. Anyway, thanks for watching.